Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to add a clickable button to your YouTube videos. Now, it's pretty easy to do. The only limitation is that you can only set the clickable button to go somewhere within the YouTube universe. That means you can use it to click to go to other videos or to go to other parts of videos or to subscribe to your channel. Now, let me show you how to do this. Now, the first thing you need to do is to create the kind of button that you want to show on your video. Now you can do this using Photoshop Elements or any image creation tool. Some people go to Google and search Google Images. But what I did is I used Photoshop Elements and created the subscribe button that you see here. And once you have your button and you've downloaded it onto your computer, you want to open your video editing program. And I use Sony Vegas Movie Studio and this is one of the videos that I've done. And I want to add a subscribe button about right here on that video. So what I do is I import that subscribe button that I created in Photoshop Elements and there it is right there and I drag it onto the timeline above my main video. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to drag it to the full length of the video so that it appears at the end. Now you can see my subscribe button is too large. It overlays the entire screen and that's easy to fix. And what we do is we select event pan and crop. We right click, we choose match output aspect and then what we do is we go to zoom. We reduce the screen size so I can see what's going on and then I drag this out and you can see over here that as I drag it out the subscribe button gets smaller and smaller and once I get the button to about the size I want then I can move it around and position it wherever I want so if I want it right there I can do that and then once I have it and once I make sure that it's the right place I'll go ahead and choose project render as and render that video once the video is rendered then I'll go to YouTube and upload that video to YouTube and here it is right here and once it's uploaded, what I'll do is I'll select I'll Manage My Videos. It'll take to me a page showing you all my videos. Under the Edit, I'll choose the drop-down arrow and choose Annotations. And the Annotations allows me to add annotations to my video. And what I want to do here is scroll all the way through my video until that Subscribe button appears. And there's the Subscribe button right there. So what I want to do is I want to make an annotation over that. So I come up here to Add Annotation. This is going to be a spotlight. I'm able to drag that spotlight box over where I want my button to be. I'm going to resize it so it is uh, over that button. And once I've got the spotlight where I wanted, I want to click Link. After I've chosen Link, a drop down box allows me to choose what I want to link to. I have options to choose a video or a playlist or a channel or a Google Plus profile page, a subscribe or a fundraising project. Now since this is a subscribe button, I'm going to link to the subscribe. And then here it says enter a YouTube username to subscribe to. I'm going to enter my channel name. And then once I've done that, I need to come down here and change the amount of time the button is going to be active. And the way I do that is I put my mouse right on that button and drag it so that it's on the screen to the end of the video right there. It goes all the way to the end of the video. And then once that's done, all I have to do now is to click the button here at the top of the page that says publish. Now that the video is published, if I want to test it, I can click the link to the video. It takes me to the YouTube page and on the YouTube page I can scroll all the way out here to where that button is and I can click that button and it says confirm channel subscription and I click the button and it will subscribe me. So it's really easy to do. It's easy to add buttons and it doesn't have to be a subscribe button. It can be any other type of button. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in knowing how to do that. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.